Alrighty, so we are up to the next update on my Donzi. So I am going to be sanding the, uh, I think, gunnel supports. Just um, just the last couple there. Um, I've actually done a different um, modification which I'm going to be doing to the boat. So I'll explain this one shortly. But what we're on about today is um, underneath here I've got my... Um, 18mm marine ply uh, fiberglass to the, um, I suppose, outside of the hull and then supported to the inside of the gunnel. And I've got fiberglass wrapped up on the inside all the way around on both sides, wrapped up and over this um, ply. Um, I will be screwing um, clips onto these. I've got one there and another one down here. And that's where my gaff will be uh, stored, just underneath the gunnel. So, what I was going to do a video on is just just cleaning up the excess um, of the fiberglass after it's been done so I've got fiberglass wrapping from here all the way down and under um, I'm just going to clean up this bit of fluff I'll probably pause the video get it done and then I'll come back once I'm done just so you can see um, how I'm going about it I don't know if you can see there uh, so yeah that's that's how it's looking at the minute um, I'll clean it up this one here I've already cleaned up this was this is where the fuel. Um, we've got two tanks. They've got two fuel lines coming up, or well, well fillers. So you've got the fillers up here. Um, this here, I put this piece in here only as an extra gunnel support. So, um, yep. So that's going to work good. That'll get all gel coated. Will all look great. Um, and here, I've actually done another modification. I've got a uh, outriggers, and um, they're actually ones you, you hit the handle. You push the handle down. You turn them out sideways and they lock in. Uh, so sometimes they go in your, uh, I suppose, T-top and that. But I'm just going to give it a go in the gunnels and see how I go. I bought some marine ply, a new sheet today. Uh, and it's 18 mil thick. See there? So uh, that's going to be all my supports. Going to do a couple of layers for supports because there's going to be quite a bit of pressure on this, especially when you're trawling. Uh, a lot of skirts and all that sort of stuff. So... Just want it to be nice and strong and um, yeah at least I'll be able to get my handle all sorted there I might even build in a little bit of a uh, like a shelf at the bottom just so I can you can chuck your oh, chuck whatever in there you know but uh, maybe like leaders and stuff like that uh, yeah so everything else is all done all of my other rod holder gunnel supports are done that one's ready for clips obviously I've got a gel coat yet too and that one's done. There's another one. You can see there, so beautiful. Uh, yeah, they might look a bit crappy at the moment, but yeah, once I gel coat them, I think yeah, they're going to look great. So all cut out. Um, I'll show you what these look like in another video. Just follow along and you'll be able to see. So uh, just going to clean up this little bit here now, and I'll show you what it looks like after. Well, time for a drink. Um, gets pretty hot wearing the um, the white suit. Uh, you see, I should have been wearing gloves. Your hands get all dusty. Um, this is the PPE I've been wearing. Earmuffs. Uh, this was a brand new grinder only two hours ago. Um, obviously not now. And then, um, yeah, so... This is the mask I've been wearing. It's bloody great for doing the grinding and stuff like that. Um, works really good. Wouldn't use it um, when putting resin and stuff on because way too expensive for that. You'll end up getting resin on it and hard to clean. So, uh, so what we've done here now, so we've cleaned this up. We've got that sanding disc. So I'll get this out so you can see. So this is the sander I've been doing. Um, so it's just a, a pad on a plastic um i suppose this size disc style um there so yeah just holds on and this one here just clamps it to it um yeah it works great um and yeah you can get it quite quite thin i think that's 120 grit that one there so um yeah just cuts it back so now what i'll do from here i'll um i'll clean it up with acetone um i might even give it before i do that give it another little sand you can see it sort of dips away a little bit here um, so then I'll mix up some of my italic 
and resin mix with the um, catalyst and that'll go like real hard and um, I'll get that perfectly square there um, but other than that that's pretty well how it is I just clean up all the loose edges make it all tidy and when I come back over it with this blow coat it's gonna look um, gonna look great so and then yeah obviously I want to utilize these um, gunnels supports as well so uh, yeah so that's sort of how I've been doing it been working great just make sure you cover up and um, cause yeah if that fiberglass is itchy stuff alright um, yeah keep watching and look forward to the next video